Hi everyone. Uh, we're going to completely factor the following expressions and we have three problems here. Both of these are um, difference, of, difference in sum of cubes. So let's get started. On this one, my first reaction is because these are both perfect squares to do something like this and just take the square root of that. But what I notice is that this is a negative. And if you have a positive and a negative, it's not going to give you that 7x. So I, that kind of um, um, makes me not want to do that one. So I'm going to go ahead and try 4x and x. And then I need to get something with a 7 in it. So I know that 30, I know the 6 is, if I put 6 in here, that's going to be too big when I do the outer and the inner. So what I do is I'm going to try 9 and 4 because 9 times 4 is 36. So if I put a 9 here and a 4 here, I need a plus 7. So if I put a plus here and a minus here, what I'm doing, and this is where you want to get, I know you want to do... Um, a lot of the other stuff, but you want to be able to do this very quickly mentally. So you want to mentally be able to see that's a 16x minus 9x, and that gives you your 7x. So our final answer would be 4x minus 9 times x plus 4. So that equals 7x. Actually, square. Since we have the 4 here, let's go ahead and square both of these and that will give you your square. Okay? And the next two are, you see this cube here, so what I want to do is factor out, uh, you should know your cubes, so you should know one cube is one, two cubed is eight, three cubed is 27, four cubed is 64, five cubed is 125. So when you know those, I know I can uh, factor out a 2 here, and I'm going to get 125x cubed minus, if I divide 128 by 2, I get 64. Now I do have um, two of my cubes in here. So I can use the formula a cubed minus b cubed equals a minus b times a squared plus a b plus b squared. All right, so, and we don't forget we have this 2 out here. So just looking at this piece, I'm going to write this as cubed. And uh, so this would be 5x. My a is 5x. And my b, therefore, would be 4 because 4 cubed is 64. So I have my a and b, and now I just use this formula. I'm going to, don't forget the 2 that we have here. So we have 5x minus 4. Now, square this. So that's 25x squared. Okay. Now it's a plus. Multiply 5x and 4, so that's 20x. And then you square the 4 which is 16. And that's your final answer. You can't factor this. This would just give you uh, complex solutions on the second part. 5 times 4. Maybe not. Let's see. Let's see if we can do that further. Because these are perfect squares. I get 5x and 5x and 4 and 4. See, what will happen is that gives you uh, 20 and 20, and it doesn't give you that. So usually um, the second part of this only gives you complex solutions, so you can't factor it anymore. And the last one we have is this one. I'm going to do the same thing. A cubed plus B cubed, and that equals A plus B times A squared minus AB plus b squared. So I'm going to set this up as cubes. 
And when you put that in, you get 2x divided by 5. If you cube that out, you get that back. And this will be 4 over or divided by y. And then I just use my formula here. Your a equals 2x over 5. And your b equals 4 divided by y. All right, so let's do that. We have uh, 2x divided by 5 plus 4 divided by y. And now we square this piece, which is going to be 4x squared over 25 minus, you multiply these two, these two pieces, and you get 8x divided by 30. And then you square this uh, piece. Um, that's not 4 over 6, that is 4 over y. So that's going to be 16 over y squared. And that is your final answer. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye. Shaw's class, Miss Shaw's class. Boy, I love math. Miss Shaw's class, Miss Shaw's class. Don't fail. Watch Miss Shaw's videos for free.